Hello guys. Today I'm going to be talking about my my favorite number project for a math class. My favorite number is 13. See 13. Here's 13 in Roman numerals. Here's the tally marks for 13 and um here is the number 13. Now, there are 13 straight lines. The curves do not count as um, straight lines. So there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 sides of 13. So I'm going to be talking about my project of the number 13. First I'm going to be telling you if my number is odd or even. Is my number odd or even, John? The number you picked, David, is odd. 13 is odd. Thank you, John. So my number is odd. Hey guys, so now I'm going to be telling you the, um, the factors of um, 13. Now since 13 is a prime number, the only factors are, are is 1 and 13. See? 1 and 13. The first 10 multiples of 13 is 13, 26, 39, 52, 65, 78, 91, 104, 117 and 130. Next I'm going to be telling you least common multiple of the number 13 and 5. The least common multiple of 13 and 5 it's 65. For um, 13, I went from 13, 26, 39, 52, 65. And for 5, I got 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65. So, least common multiple of 13 and 5 is 65. So is 13 divisible by 2, 3, 6, 5, 6, 9, or 10? No, it is not. 13 is prime number, so its only factors is 1 and 13. Hey guys, so now I'm going to be showing you um, a 6th sixth, sixth grade math problem, word problem, that has my number as the answer. So I have a pack of 36 duplex cream cookies. So, excuse me while I open it. So um, here are the um, cookies. So now I take seven. Seven. So I take seven cookies. I only take six more. Six. So now how many cookies do I have in all? The answer? Thirteen. Six plus seven is thirteen. I'll use these cookies. A baker's dozen has uh, fourteen donuts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Donuts. Wow. Donuts. Friday the 13th, well, May 2011, has a Friday the 13th. Here. Another wor real world way of the number 13, root 13.
opening up for them. What? What are you guys doing in here? Oh, you want to know another way that the number 13 is in a real world? Whatever. Alright, hold on. PG-13. There. You saw one. Now get out of my fridge. Next time I'm going to be telling you, um, the area and, um, the perimeter of a square with, um, 13 as its, uh, sides. Alright. Alright, so, um, 13 feet for this side and 13 feet for this side. The perimeter, we're, we're gonna find the area, as I found, 26 feet square. 13 times 2 equals 26 feet square. Now, Uh, now for this one, um, 13 feet, 13 feet, 13 feet, 13 feet. We, if we find the perimeter, do 13 plus 13 plus 13 plus 13, but I'm going to do it for a shorter way, 13 times 4, we get 52 feet. And that's the area and perimeter of, um, a square if 13, if if its size were 13 feet. What the? What are you guys doing here? Oh, you want to hear a poem? Alright, if I tell you this poem about the number 13, you get out. Okay. The number 13, it's the unlucky number, but it's my favorite. It's an odd number. Part of the prime family, first year of a team. A baker's dozen, the rain thir PG-13, all involve 13. Roman numerals, the number in numerals is XIII. It in tally marks is double four, one across, two marks plus one mark. Now, who, anyone, to those that don't uh, get the um, tally marks part, that means, um, when it says in, in tally marks, 13 in tally marks is double four and one across, so it's four tally marks and one mark across two times, so it makes ten, then two marks plus one mark. Now two marks plus one marks mark equals three marks. Yeah. <laughs> now, wrap up this haiku, I would just like to say that 13 is very cool. There. I read you my poem.